This next comic is a good friend of mine from comedy. Um, you're going to love him as much as I do. He is the podcast king of Dayton, Ohio. Just an all around great guy. Let's give it up for Mike Shea. I'm very self-conscious about my weight and I don't trust this stage. How's it going, guys? <laughs> Good to be here. Uh, for those who don't know me, yeah, my name is Mike Shea. Uh, tell a little bit about myself. Uh, first of all, I need to apologize to uh, any single women in the room, but I am already like a brother to someone else. <laughs> It's not that I'm bad with women, it's just they find me about as useful as a white crayon. <laughs> Grown now, you are in for a rough ride the rest of the night, let me tell you. <laughs> that is my favorite joke, I don't care if you laugh at that one or not, that one's for me. That's usually the one where I get a lot of people going, ha ha, and a lot of going, aww. He's so sad, not sad for enough for me to do anything about it, but still pretty sad. <laughs> Life's, life's going weird for me right now. My, my ex is currently renting my upstairs room in my house. Yeah, it's not great. And I can feel some of you judging me like, no, there's nothing like weird or sexual going on with this. Like, trust me, I tried. Um, you know it's over with somebody when they're like, no, I would rather pay you hundreds of dollars every month than sleep with you ever again. <laughs> One of my friends was like, you should just start bringing chicks home and like, you know, having sex with them and making her jealous, and I was flattered. They thought that they thought that was a possibility. <laughs> Why don't you bring more chicks home, Mike? They won't let me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dating's great. Yeah, I've been single since the Obama administration. Yeah. <laughs> the last time I was in a relationship, people still liked Kevin Spacey. Leaves a weird taste in your mouth, doesn't it? That's a bad metaphor. Uh, <laughs> I've uh, I've been single so long now. My friends don't even like like they just this, I'm just the single friend now. I don't get asked if I'm bringing a plus one to weddings. Uh, every February, my friends say some shit to me like, "So Mike, like, what did what do you do on Valentine's Day?" Yeah, like what? Like like it's like it's it's a day not for me. Like you're talking to a Jewish guy around Christmas. Like so, what do you do? <laughs> Yeah, this isn't for you, Mike. <laughs> I, uh, I tried the online dating. Anybody here done like the Tinder or the Bumble or any of that stuff? Any of the online dating? No, everyone here is happily married. Great, awesome. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah. Um, it's not fun. Online, online dating is an absolute nightmare for two reasons. I know, only two. Um, the first one's kind of obvious in that like no one's honest about who they are like, like at all. It's usually like people with like in their pictures, it's them with like three other people, so you don't know who you're swiping on. You know, it's like, is it the tall guy with the tattoos? Is it the short guy with the snaggle tooth? Roll the dice, bitches. <laughs> the other problem with online dating is that like the people who are like using these apps, who are sitting at home on their couch swiping, are people like me. As in people who don't know how to date, they don't know how to talk to other people, because if they did, they wouldn't be on the app, they'd be out talking to people. That's why I'm here tonight. <laughs> it's people who are on these apps who just, they have no idea how to flirt or be seductive. I, I had a woman say to me one time, you're gonna love me, I've had my tonsils out. I appreciated what she was suggesting, like, oh, don't worry, I've got no gag reflex. I'm flattered she thought that was gonna be an issue. <laughs> like, I'm not saying it's small, ladies, but it is the easiest blowjob you'll ever have to give. I'm really a blowjob, it's more like a blow hobby. Why can't I find a date? <laughs> I, uh, I just spent the uh, last couple of weeks, I was up in Cuyahoga Falls, and uh, I got to uh, visit my grandparents, which is really cool. I'm originally from up there. It was a lot of fun visiting my family, because I, uh, I got to hang out with my grandma, and I love hanging out with my grandma. 
Except now my grandma has a smartphone. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a grandma with a smartphone. <laughs> Every time I go visit my grandma, I, like, I gotta spend a third of my trip trying to unfuck her phone in some way. Because she's downloaded like 15 different Pinterest apps, none of which are labeled Pinterest, by the way. At this point, I'm pretty sure her phone's just possessed by Satan. Like, she's just downloading everything she can. The next time I go to open it, instead of a thumbprint, it's gonna want like a drop of blood or something. Uh, yeah, but no, I love visiting my grandma because my grandma's my baseball fan. We got any baseball fans here in the house? Yeah. Hell yeah, baseball is my sport. I love baseball because it's the only sport where players communicate with sign language, and by sign language, I mean the catcher plays with his balls. Yeah. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Like, the pitcher's just up there on the mound nodding and shaking his head, and the catcher's down there just, like, flicking those things around. <laughs> Was there a class they had to go to to learn those signals? Like, it's like, hey man, when I jiggle the right one three times and move the left one in a clockwise circle, that means fastball. This position's really hard to hold when you're as big as I am. But it got me thinking, like, what if the catcher just has an itchy sack? Like, what if it's just itching and he's just down there just scratching that thing and the pitcher's up there like, why does he want me to throw the ball to the coach? <laughs> I love watching baseball with my grandma, though, at least I used to, because my, gra my grandma is the biggest baseball fan on the face of the earth. Nobody loves baseball more than my grandma. If she's watching a game, when it goes to commercial, she turns to the other game. My grandpa had to pay for, like, the full MLB package so she could watch every game on the face of the earth. In America, I mean. <laughs> um, but she loves baseball for weird reasons. There was one time she and I were watching a Cleveland game, and uh, I said, Grandma, why do you love baseball so much? Like, the great American pastime, like, why do you love it? And she says, Mike, those baseball players have such nice tushies. <laughs> they have the nicest tushies I've ever seen. Those tushies look so good. It's the most I've heard the word tushy in my entire life. And my grandpa came in the room and I said, Grandpa, you know, she's just watching baseball because she likes staring at dudes' butts. And he's like, why do you think she married me? And shook his ass. <laughs> she started clapping, so we walked over and shook it in her face. She spanked him, I got uncomfortable. <laughs> now it's hard for me to watch baseball with my grandma because I know three feet to my left, she's feeling some type of way. <laughs> I work for PBS. My, my insurance doesn't cover that kind of therapy. Oh yeah, I'm in charge of people watching Bob Ross in the morning. It's a great feeling. <laughs> Listen, I love me some happy little trees. I go into work at five o'clock in the morning and that's what's on. Do you know how hard it is to stay awake at 5 a.m. when you've got Bob Ross just scraping that little paint line across the canvas right there? And we're gonna mix the pressure blue in there with the foam screen. <laughs> And then we're just gonna beat the shit out of our brush. I love that, by the way. We're just gonna beat the devil out of that brush. We're just gonna beat it. Just beat that brush. Bob Ross is the best. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, so life's great. Um, but no, I wasn't. I was in Cuyahoga Falls, and I gotta say, I have driven all over Ohio doing comedy. Cuyahoga Falls has the worst roads I have ever seen in my life. If you've ever played, this was like playing real life Mario Kart for my young people in the room. Like I'm going up and down ramps, there's like no rails on anything. At one point the pothole had lava in it. Guy in front of me got hit by the blue shell so I knew I was next. So glad some of you got that joke. <laughs> I told that joke in Cuyahoga Falls, nothing. N nothing. <laughs> oh man, no, it was great, I loved it. Um, who here? I, you know, I gotta tell you something. I don't know if you can tell or not. I love food. <laughs> I know how brave of me to admit these things. Um, who, my favorite food, though, is pizza. Who got who, big, big pizza fans? We got yeah. yeah. I'm not from around here. What's the best pizza place in town? Beer Barrel. Beer Barrel. Holy shit! Just right out the gate. Okay, Beer Barrel. That's awesome because I drove past the place here on the way. It was called like the Sweet Cherry Arcade. Can I just say, that sounds like a strip club slash casino. <laughs> complete with bars on the window and everything. <laughs> like you can play Mrs. Pac-Man and then you can watch her dance on the pole. 
no Mrs. Pac-Man? Oh, there goes my fetish. Okay. Um, no, I... Uh, <laughs> I love it. I, I love you guys. I love pizza because, like, to me, pizza is a lot like sex. Because, like, even when it's bad, it's still pretty good. And either way, I have to pay for it. So, <laughs> like, I can count on one hand the number of times I've had good sex, and most of those times were with that one hand. <laughs> I, uh, I did. I did decide, like, you know, this was the year to start getting in shape, like I do every year, and you can see how well that's taken. And, um, <laughs> and I was at the gym, I was actually at the gym, and I was, you know, having trouble getting started, because you, you don't look like this if you know what you're doing in the gym, so I had no idea. The guy came over trying to help me, he said, let's start simple, like, how many crutches can you do? I said, well, it depends on how many chips are in the bag. <laughs> that is the oldest joke I've ever written. <laughs> Um, but no, I actually, I don't mind, I don't mind being single at this point. Like, yeah, I've been single a long time, and yeah, there are days it sucks, but the fact of the matter is, I have stood up here for the last, like, 10, 15 minutes talking to you guys about being single, so if I ever actually do get a girlfriend, my career is fucking <laughs> over. <laughs> you guys have been fantastic, Lima. Thank you so much. Let's get Jody back up here. Keep it going for Mike Shea.